Hello traders, good morning, good evening, uh, good week. Vladimir here and this is the weekly forecast for 20th of September 2015. Well, Friday was very interesting, it was the last day of the week of course and it was one day after the FOMC. The very day that they said they will not increase the rates on September. So no disappointment from this um uh, from the fed at this stage because they said there is a chance that it's still going to happen on 2015 maybe october maybe december but in reality it just shows at least the way that's the way i understand it it just showed that the fed afraid to take steps and um well they're afraid of many reasons of course with the slowing down in china and with all the financial risk around the world everywhere else that's what that's what makes me think that the current bubbles they all created with the so low uh, rate uh, and now they will start to afraid and afraid seriously about taking any step so from my point of view it's anti-dollar period and that's what i want to trade so the first pair from my point of view is the dollar yen our uh, scenario of the triangle we have been talking about actually uh, happened uh, we got the break right here around uh, 11960 and we are in so that's basically good uh, sell zone and very very important to say as long as we remain above this high so pullbacks uh, inside are okay but that's the way it should continue keep in mind that's a bearish convergence pushing another a sign that this pair is still under bearish pressure as long as we remain below this uh, high so basically only and only if we cross above it then we can start to talk about some crazy scenario of making this duplication again it's very very early at this stage but um, only break above the last high should uh, give something like that i remain bearish uh, not only because of the triangle also because of the fact that, that was the convergence bearish convergence for the very first time we never got the retest uh, there or below it weekly chart is still very very bearish and despite despite the pullback the all the um, all the slopes everywhere still bearish that's a strong uh, sign and of course according to the weekly chart uh, cycles we also we should start to get two waves down here so from my point of view, we're already in a bearish period and that's going to last until somewhere like 2017, 2018 at least uh, before we can talk about anything else. So for me, only sells, only sells. That's the thing here. And that's uh, pretty much what we have. It's uh, that's uh, the waving. We got two waves down. We might get two waves up here and then continuation lower. Anyway, as I said, we, doesn't matter how we turn it around, as long as we are below this high.